Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naveen Kumar LV. I am a senior consultant in orthopedics and sports injuries at Manipal Hospital Sarjapur Road. Rotator cuff tears or rotator cuff injuries. Uh, you may have heard of this term or you may be hearing this for the first time. Uh, what is rotator cuff? So this is a group of muscles which are deep inside the shoulder in the sense deeper than the deltoid muscles which are the outer muscles and these muscles if they are not functioning properly then we can get shoulder pain, shoulder difficulty in movements or not having enough strength in the shoulder. These three things can happen. This, uh, this rotator cuff can get injured sometimes because of a fall on the outstretched hand kind of injuries or more commonly as a part of the degenerative wear and tear. Commonly we see these rotator cuff injuries in people who are in their 50s or 60s or even 70s. That's the age group where we see the rotator cuff tears. When we talk about rotator cuff tear, we often refer to one muscle out of four, but it can be more than one as well. If you are looking at the shoulder now, these are the outer muscles which you all recognize. These are deltoid, pectoralis and traps. But deeper inside, we do have smaller muscles which fine tune the shoulder movement. These are the four small muscles of the shoulder which fine tune the shoulder movement. So out of them, the one on the top which is called supraspinatus, this is the muscle which often gets torn but the tear can be partial or sometimes it can be complete tear as well. So when we talk about rotator cuff tears, not all of them are bad. Some of them may be just a tendinopathy where the muscle tendons are not functioning appropriately and for those simple exercise based treatments may suffice plus physiotherapy maybe. Or if they have got a partial tear kind of thing which is refusing to heal with simple modalities then a plasma injection or a PRP injection is something which we often use to help healing process. So in people with a complete tear we often see that where the muscle has been torn and literally it has separated from the bone where it's supposed to be attached. Uh, many times we see a gap in between as well. Unfortunately, often we see people quite late, uh, sometimes even six months, one year or two years down the line as well. The reason why people come late for these injuries is because they still are able to do some of the activities because their deltoids are still working. They have still got a basic amount of movement with which they can manage. It's not like the leg where they can't walk. So people often come late. So when we talk about the rotated cuff tear, especially the complete tear. So the, if it is a complete tear, the muscle can't grow back. So if you don't do anything about this, what's going to happen? That's the first question you should be asking. So if you leave a rotated cuff tear without a treatment, then the problem would be that the muscle will go on retracting backwards and the gap between will increase. So the ball and the socket will lose its congruity because the ball of the shoulder will start moving upwards. So because of that incongruity, the joint will become arthritic. So it may take two years in some, it may take five years in some, but eventually it will lead to arthritis of the shoulder joint, which is called rotator cuff arthropathy. If one reaches the point of cuff arthropathy, uh, where the pain will be there throughout the day and night, then apart from replacement surgery for the shoulder where we take out all the bone and put an artificial joint apart from that i don't have any other magical tools in my uh, quiver but if we identify this at the right time the rotator cuff even if it is a complete tear it can be cured by doing a keyhole surgery and arthroscopic surgery this is a simple procedure where post that surgery you will be allowed to use your arm within two to three weeks uh, initially you'll be in arm pouch you will start physiotherapy early but for you to use your arm as a normal arm it may take about two to two and a half months but this is something which is required to keep your shoulder in a good condition for rest of your life hope this helps